hello everyone in this video i'm going to demonstrate how to create a function what is function so function is actually a collection of statement which perform a particular task uh, for instance let's say you want to perform a particular computation on two numbers and uh, you need to use that uh, computation procedure you need to perform that computation again and again in your code so if you are thinking of writing that same piece of code again and again it become a troublesome practice okay so function what are functions uh, whatever task you want to perform again and again all the statements related to that task you write in a function and then whenever you want to perform the same task instead of writing that same code you simply call the function so in scilab how to write your first function so i am going to create the first function so first of all you need to write function then uh, if your function is returning some value okay in case if not in that case also we need to write here a output argument or out arguments so i am taking here y i will explain the role of this argument later So this is the first line. So let's understand the meaning. So we have written function. It means we are telling Scilab that we are going to create a new function. What will be the name of function? This is the name of function. This function requires two arguments. And if this function is having any result, that result will be available in this out argument. So this is a simple function. In this function, what we are going to do, we are going to simply add a and b, and we will provide this output to the uh, programmer when he will call this function. So I am simply writing y equal to a plus b and function. So and function demands the completion of the function. That the this function definition is completed. Okay. So we have created a very simple function. This function, whenever you want to call this function, just write addition and arguments. So here, if you can see, this function will add them and it will provide their results. So I am taking here one more variable c. So according to its definition, left hand side, whatever will be the argument that argument will be having the result so if you can see the value of c is 30 okay so in the similar manner you can write other functions as well and you need to remember that there is no uh, constraint that you can use only one out argument if your function is returning more than one value you can use multiple out arguments so i'm just uh, showing you a simple case let's say my function is going to return two values a and b so i will write in this way then the function name let's say demo it will require only one argument what it will do in a it will return the square of this function and in B it will return cube of this function. Okay, now let's call this function. So uh, if you can see here, we are not storing the value in any variable. Okay, so that's why it's showing only you the first argument. Now let's call it property or you can make it square as n q demo three. so now if you can see here q is having 27 which is the cube of 3 and s is having 9 which is the square of 3 so this is the proper way of calling a function which is having multiple out arguments okay I hope you guys have understood the concept.
So in next tutorial we will explore functions in detail. Thank you very much for watching.